The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour, and a lot to discuss. The Dow is up 20 at 37,324. After such a magnificent week last week, you would expect just Sunday night would be down, Monday would be down. So let me just do this because it's so important. For months, I've been talking about when the S&P, when you're in a sell mode and the S&P futures open down 48 or 52 points, 24 is nothing anymore. It's like 48, 52. The Dow is down 280, 330 before the open. Then there's an attempt to rally and then the, the, all the indices close at their lows and then overnight this is uh, overseas, uh, it doesn't look good. So the next day it opens up horribly. Then there's another rally, but it closes at the lows again. That's bear market material. We saw the exact opposite to the upside. So at this particular point, the mentality says, um, bull phase, uh, don't get in the way of the bull. Watch out, because every time you're short, you're going to be wrong in this particular period. Well, the issue is that you do your homework and you just look and you say, where are we? Well, as I see it right now, see the strong blue line right here? That's the unbalanced volume. You see how extended it is? You see this little red, this gray line right here that's turned red? When it gets above this 80% level, the relative strength index shows red. It goes, shows green when it goes under 20% and red. And all it says is, Whoops, you're driving along the highway and um, there's right in the distance, you see the little flashing lights, a cop, go, go a little slow. Once it's there, uh, that the cop is already busy with somebody and you know what happens with traffic, they kind of go and then they see if the cop's busy, everyone's back to 85, 90 miles an hour. So in this particular instance, a little cautionary light, right? The uh, nine period moving average right there, look way above the uh, way above the uh, price where it is right now at 37,327. Uh, and most importantly, the nine is way above the 14 to get to, to really get that green line down under the 14. And it will happen. And I wouldn't be happy. I'd be surprised if it happens sometime uh, in January. Uh, we're going to be watching this closely. Um, and that would be the daily. The weekly chart is still a spectacular single leg to the a ace, uh, to the upside. So that just says we're a little bit overbought based on these indicators. The MACD is good. The stochastic's flat at 98%, 98.32. That's like a dollar seventy from 100%. It never hits 100%. Although we once saw it 99.83. I was trying to find. I don't think I'll ever find it. I should. I did grab it at the time and wrote it in my book. But I, I should have just printed it out somewhere. I should have had it where I could see it anyway. Um, but don't believe me. When you are this long at nine in the 90s, at some point you're going to revert to the mean at least and get to the 50%. But now what happens is once you start on your way down, it'll stall and stop and stall and stop. But if it starts to make lower lows, that stochastic goes down to 20% or lower. But look at the weekly chart, flat and 99.12, 99.12 in a weekly chart. That is amazing. That is really strong. Well, there's only one way to go, right? And that would be down. No, it, as long as it's flat, it can hold it. That's why I'm saying we've got to look at the daily as if to say that's your just a digestive little hicca, hiccup maybe, and then maybe higher highs. But if it takes out certain levels, that changes. All right. I wanted to get that out the way. Just talk about it in kind of the broadest terms. Now let's run these numbers. S&P up uh, 18. Uh, yes, it went to 47.38.69. I believe that's a fraction higher. I hope it is. 47.38. 57. Nine cents higher. So that means this is now... <clears throat> Oh, I don't want to do this right now because this is kind of for Friday, technical Friday. Let's just call this 
C for now, right? I have no choice but to call it C. That means it should still make higher highs this week. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Q, Q, Q. One, two, three. Uh, leg, I'm calling this an F for now. Uh, same story. It hasn't yet taken out Friday's high, but wow. Well, I mean, 406.16 up 82 cents. That's really good. And now what we're looking at is that weekly chart. Remember, we spoke about this oh, over and over and over again. And then I, I personally missed it. 408.71, the high of the 23rd, the week of the 23rd of November 2022, down to 254. I'd, I'd say that's quite a tumble. Uh, to the 14th of the week of the 14th of October 2022. We did buy the diamonds and we still own them. That's the Dow. Um, and look at this. It went 408.71 and it's already in the 406s. It should just kind of nick that number. So what's the rule of thumb? It should go towards just under right on um, or just above the previous high. And then you got to do an assessment. Well, it, it's, it's right there now. And the assessment says to me at this particular time, um, it's getting somewhat overboard based on the relative strength and the uh, not yet the RSI, just the on balance one. The stochastic at 93 is already good. So I'm watching this for just a little bit of a hiccup, a little bit of a pullback. We'll watch it closely. Now, what I wanted to do is to show you that the IWM, the Russell 2000, oh, did I forget again to write that? Wasn't it RSI? I'll do it in a moment. So the IWM up 87 cents, 197.87. It says, and this is really what my webinar is going to be about, uh, the lagging indicators, the lagging stocks. Can they play catch up in 2024 in the first month or two? That's going to be really important. My assessment right at this particular point says there is a much greater chance at this point, even though I'm anticipating a pullback here on the very short term, there's a much greater chance that the IWM will start to travel in the 202 to 208 area above the strong resistance that's been going on for two years now. And that means that it could pull back. And where it pulls back to is going to be very, very important. Next thing I want to look at here is, so was that, let me just check if I got the right symbol. RSI, and I, I thought, oh, no. And where did I write it? I don't even know where I wrote it. That was the the 100. That was sorry, the 1,000. The iShares 1,000. Well, I'll find it. In the meantime, back at the ranch, let's do this real quickly. Gold is uh, uh, unchanged. That's 2,035. I I'm, I did quite a bit of work on the uh, on the gold and the gold stocks, etc. Over the weekend, and I have to tell you, it's this constant catalyst that gold needs to not only go higher but to hold the gains. I can see that making higher highs and higher lows at this point. I just don't see a catalyst right now to say that the, the 2150 area, the high that was made recently, is going to be broached easily. I think it's going to be a work in progress. And if you look at the SI, which is a silver contract, down uh, 0.08, uh, you can see it's glued. It's stuck to the 200 period moving average. I want you to just quickly so to go to copper. Copper is holding well. It's come off at the lows. It's not acting great, but it is acting much better. Uh, I had a question about TGB, which is Taseko Mines. So Taseko Mines is acting well. It went above the 200 period moving average of 1.34. It's at 1.40 right now, up two cents. I, I'll talk about this as soon as I return. Uh, Basil Chapman, take the admissions hour. I'll talk about my Wednesday uh, webinar coming up and the Dow's up 10. We'll be right back. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, so let me just finish the overview. So the TLT is pulling back a little bit. That's the iShares Treasury uh, 20 year bond fund. Uh, we're looking at 98.09 down over a dollar, dollar 06. Has had a spectacular move to the upside. That 200 period moving average of 98.34. That's going to give us huge clues this week. If it doesn't go under it, does it go to the 14 period moving average of 95.41? Or does it say, yeah, oh, well, just had a little, I filled up, I've refueled. I'm going right into the 101, 102 level. Now, I think right now it's just digesting gains, and that kind of fits with this whole thing that I'm saying. Watch the, watch the home builders, watch the, uh, watch the yields. So let's go back to GTGB to Seiko Mines. You see this down tr uh, trend line? Then within this downtrend line, I always draw in. All right, then make that green. Do it again. Once, change the color to pink. Okay, pink right there. Not, not cyan. Come on, pink. There it is. And that just says it's getting back into that range that where it gets repelled. And it's also at the 200 period moving average. What I'm going to say, Dan, is that GTG, which you've done over the years, I don't have to tell you because you've, I mean, for 15 years or something, you've been even more, you've, you've, you've traded to Seiko Mines. I think to Seiko Mines is, it, it's woken up. The Rip Van Winkle to Seiko is kind of starting just a little bit, but it's starting some kind of a, a cognizant phase where it says, hey, hey, don't forget about me. I'm a copper. So if you're looking at SCCO, that's uh, SCCO is, uh, I always forget, uh, Southern Copper. Look at that move. But it's going to all, almost all-time highs, right? At least most recent yearly highs. So I would say to you, T keep TGB as a play. And I know that you try to do that. I'm going to say 1995. Uh, 1995. Okay, Dan. I don't know. You should be. I should be asking you. What about TGB? Now you've seen it has big moves. I think this is just generating the initial. You can see it on the MACD and stochastic in the weekly chart. This is getting way more interesting than it ever had been. Now I think it's formed a base in the 125 to 120 area rather than the one. If that's the case, the next big move should see the weekly chart trading in the dot. I'm not telling you when, because my eye says it'd have to be at least three to four weeks. But the 150 area 
is going to be very important if it can stabilize and treat $1.50 as your kind of go-to area every time there's a pullback, but it keeps one, it goes there once and then it pulls back, but then it goes there a few times. The more time it goes to 150, the greater chance that 160 high uh, that was made back in um, August or so becomes a target. But I am saying to you, there's a magnet price right here on this 200 period moving average, both the daily and the weekly. So just be prepared, 134, that's an area that could keep pulling back. But in the meantime, I know that you like to look out and you've got the gumption, you've got the tenacity to, to, to hold even though things pull back. Let's cover this again, but I'm saying from my eye and the week has just begun, I need the weekly chart to conclude and it's only Monday, first hour into the, not even an hour into the trading day. Um, let's look at it again a little later on in the week because TGB is the kind of stock that you forget about and the next thing you know, it's gone up sharply. Then you say, oh, should I get it? And then you get it and then it pulls back sharply. So this is the area that is in the middle of a kind of a trading range that it's been in for a while. So I'm saying keep your eye on it and just think about it as don't get too carried away, but something that you might want to start building a, a position in. Okay. So next question came in was TMV. TMV, I believe. I didn't even see what it is because I'm always so busy just looking at chart patterns, etc. Let me just see what this is. From the look of it, it looks like an inverse. Th oh, my God, it is. This is the direction 20-year treasury bear three times. Oh, I haven't looked at this for ages, for ages. Oh, isn't that interesting? Ah, oh, you're just tying into what I was saying earlier when I did Tommy, uh, Tommy's show, the uh, – morning market kickoff, that yields look to me, if there is going to be some kind of a pullback in the market, even if it's just a digestive one, and if the home builders are going to have a little bit of a breather, yields need to go up. Okay, so you're playing with fire. Here we used to have someone in the den who used to say, I'll sell you the uh, steel gloves if you want to catch a falling knife. And believe me, look at that monthly chart. It's had red candles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this is the first little bit of a green candle in eight weeks. It's had just a tremendous move from the 54s down to the 29 area. Okay, it's at 30.49. Okay, so I don't have to tell you, since you're looking at this, and you've obviously, this is an area you've been in uh, before. I'm going to just say, let me just go through this right now. So is that, um, yeah, Paul. So Paul, I'm... <sighs> This is on your head. <laughs> Let it be on your head. As I'm looking at it right now, you've got all the ingredients that suggest the 14 period moving average, the pink, uh, the, the, the black 33.81 is just too far away. But the 32.41, it was just there four days ago. So that would be a target, but it has to have, it just has to have the, the like a spring-loaded move to the upside. For instance, uh, I'll, I'll go through this even though we don't have it. Uh, I was looking at the crude oil and everything about this cluster formation at the bottom here and the way it held above the Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line, the dash pink line, that that is nice action. And yet the pink nine pair moving average hasn't even gotten close to crossing positive. And yet crude oil is up 2.22 today off the 200 period moving average. So let me go do the same thing now with the TLT, because if you remember, all for weeks now I've been talking about the TLT in terms of, uh, let me just do it here, in terms of the reverse, TBT was trying to get back to the 32 level, that's the, uh, the inverse uh, ultra, short Lehman Treasury T bond yield. And it, it looks like the chart you're looking at right now because it's got a little green bar. And I had that left side, right side price time match for going to the lows of 32. And lo and behold, this not only went to 32, but the most recent low was undercut. It went all the way on Friday down to 30.37. 30, 30 so 
it's got a lot of work to make up to get there. So I would do this if I was you. Now you have mentioned to me that it's you're looking at you're looking at something that is when I say inverse, um, it looks very much except this one's already gone down to the low because it's a it gets recalculated every day. This has gone past the 200 period moving average that was fantastic support back on the 19th of July of this year at 28.72 before it screened up to 53.80, was it? 53.77. So here you are slumping and the unbalanced volume has gotten oversold and that's the only one I use as an oversold or overboard indicator. The others say you're in that range but it doesn't give me a signal. This is giving me a signal to say you could get a bounce here but so far what I can see is a bounce. So it's at 30.48. I, I need another little bit of time before I make my declaration here. Let's just wait for this break to finish. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar, Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Oh, just before we go to William and Volker, we 
just a question about the TMV. Look, this is the, at six. This is a six one eight retracement in the. Uh, um, the continuous contract uh, of the yields, U.S. dollar, this is a 30-year, uh, right here. So I'm just going to suggest, you, you know the risks. I don't have to tell you, Paul. So this is TMV. I would just say start a little position right here at 30.53. I would rather add to it when it goes higher, and this is a starter. And I would, 30.17 uh, is the low, just for the moment, if you can, 30.08, something like that, is you stop and make it a trading stop. Hope that helps you. William in Boca Raton. William, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Great. Um, looking at VLO. Yeah, you know, it's interesting that you mentioned VLO. I did SLB this morning. I'd lost the notation. I must have done these for the last many, many, many decades. Uh, I always do these. Uh, they're all in the same kind of category. So I was looking at Stamage, it went right to the 200 period moving average, and you want to look at Valera. So this yeah, is- Yeah, I buy what? that based on um, uh, their refinery capacity as opposed to um, other parts of the oil industry because they've got the most refineries in the United States. So what you're saying is that in terms of um, the product, they would have the capacity to increase if they needed to increase, but at the same time, uh, they're already already there. They don't have to. They, they don't new. They don't have to come up with new um, uh, equipment and all that. They've got a lot of it already. Most of it. Yes, exactly right. So if you know if that's. <sighs> I must say that they are all doing so many different things, and that's part of what my webinar is going to be on Wednesday night, is the difference between within sectors, how some stocks led the way and others just couldn't, couldn't do it. So Valero is the one that's held in the monthly chart, the nine-period moving average, no matter how deep it's pulled back, it's still green. Uh, the it's in uh, it made a peak F in the, it could be an alternate count D, but it doesn't matter, it made a top. Uh, four months ago, and if you're looking at the, let me do this real quickly here, A, B. Now, have you already got a position in this? Yes. Okay. So I would say that if you're looking at this more intermediate term, I suspect you are since you've discussed it in terms of the capacity, et cetera. Um, I'll tell you what it needs to do. I love the action today. I love the little gap up. Um, peak A, right, there's your low bar. Remember, your eye, your eye picks out the low bar, and then if it's historical because it's already done, then all you do is your notation. That's an A. Under it's an A, a B, and even a C, and then it goes to a D. Gosh, this is a, I love, this is called in the Chapman Wave methodology, this is basically called a restart, meaning that it kept, um, it kept, the base, the low that was made around about 120, but it kept pulling back from rallies. And then what happens is it becomes cumulative. I said in my uh, work, it's called the Chapman restart off a low. And that says the more times that you sputter and stutter, and then finally you make that move above all the resistance levels, it's open. That just says now, now it's free to at least start challenging the left side candles that are on the higher higher side. So as it stands right now at 120, at 132.42, the next left side candle that I'd be looking at, the high was right there on the 18th of October of 135.31. I like what I'm seeing, and I actually have to say thank you for pointing it out because I already started doing a bunch of work over the weekend on these because it seemed to me that something is going on in the oil sector that suggests that there could be near-term angst through, and now we find out it could be the shipping, could be anything, and that it's going to benefit. Now, does it benefit Valero in the sense that Valero is able to get their product? You know, it's all very well getting the product and having it, but going uh, to, to, give, to actually send it and have it delivered, that's something else. But as a, as a chart formation right now, I love this cluster formation. I love the way it's making a cup formation in the weekly chart. But the next step is to say, okay, that's all very well. 
but where would you get a little bit more security? I'd get more security to say that I've raised the base of support to the 200 period moving average of 125. If this thing can start to trade, and I'd love it to be this week, any day this week, if it can even just tag 134, but preferably tag this high right here, that what did I say, 135. Actually, 135 would, for me would be fine the next step. I like it very much. Congratulations on, on entering this. Now, as a different, there's a difference between short term and intermediate term. So my short term would be days to weeks. And my longer term, my intermediate term says now you're into weeks and now you could start affecting the monthly chart. So I'm looking at it as if I'm looking at this through the third week of January to the second week of February. And if by that point, is actually trading in the 136 to 137 area. That's the best sign that you could have. I hope that helps you. Right. And by the way, the nice thing about after they refine it, they've got a ton of gas stations, so they do retail as well. So their product is oh. nice flow through. Okay. Well, that, oh, I'm a, very good. I'm making a note of all this. Thank you. One of the, this is this is great. Um, Good. Thank you very much. Now, the only other thing I'm going to say to you is I did mention support. Who knows what happens? But if it starts to trade back to 124, that's still OK. But the most important level that if if it takes out the low of the 9th of November of 119, if it closes under, no, it doesn't have to close. It just has to go under 119.88. And that I have to do a whole recalculation that negates the buy mode as it stands right now. But I just wanted to give you all the all the, the levels that at least I'm looking at at this particular point. So I hope that helps you. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling. Uh, so folks, while, while we're at it, I just wanted to show you, look, I, I was looking at Schlumberger, kind of, kind of, not exactly, they all do something a little differently, but if I need to write it, I should type it right here. SLB, uh, SLB, I'm going to. I'm also going to put rig in that category. Look at not. A, it's a different chart, and monthly chart's not bad. Weekly chart is mm, okay, but the the daily chart that's a nice V-shaped pattern. But boy, stuck right there, the 200 period moving average. And if you look at rig, you know we're always looking at rig. This is Transocean. Um, look at that 200 period moving average that it keeps testing, and the monthly is not so good. See, it is offshore drilling, so all of them are doing something a little differently. But I, I just off the top of my head as I'm looking at them. So uh, VLO is doing very nicely. Is TMO, what was TMO? That was the one of you. Oh, okay. I'll be back in a moment. Uh, Basil Chap and Tiger Munitions Hour. Dow's up 20. s and up 50. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Yes, so um, for... I've got TMO, you have them official scientific. Some of these uh, medical equipment companies have done very nicely lately. Once again, I'm looking at this thing a little toppy. How do they handle the next couple of days? And I'm suspecting that we're looking at, yep, there it is. I'm suspecting that we're looking at some kind of a digestive phase. So what I wanted to do here is, I wanted to say, look, I'm doing my web and I'll be waiting for this. Uh, after the takeoff on uh, October the 27th, it's huge takeoff. Um, I'm doing a subscriber. This is the opening call subscriber webinar, Wednesday, December 20th. Sectors and stocks just coming off major 2023 lows, ready for even more upside action. And one of the things I'm looking at, what sectors have done very well, but stocks within those sectors, some of them are really good companies but they haven't done as well. So, and I, for me, I like, you know, for instance, we have, um, we have stocks, single digit stocks. Uh, we, I, I did a, an hour long webinar, sorry, an hour long video, my overview weekend overview video <clears throat> on Saturday. And I discussed two, not one, but two huge Chapman Wave Roman candles. One is red, one is green. And I discussed in great detail what should happen if it's going to fail. What would happen if it's going to be successful? This is UEC. We belong from the uh, from the threes. It's trading here yeah, at 6.60. So I like to have stocks single digit. I mean, people like to have a, a kind of a varied portfolio. They're quite prepared to have something in the single digits or the teens. Um, and then they also quite prepared to have something in the uh, this area, Microsoft, 373. This was our proxy for the diamonds uh, back uh, on the last day of October, and which still grates me because I didn't actually say just buy them both, diamonds and thing. I th thought for $303 is just about the price of the diamonds. Let's get Microsoft. It's in Dow. It's in the it's in the queues. It's in the index. But we still have our core positions from. 2020 low in March and the 2022 low in October in the diamonds. However, and the and the UDOW. Now, this is really important because you see what it's doing here. It's making this cup formation, this sorry, this arch formation, which looks like a dreaded H pattern. I went through that just a little earlier when I did Tommy's show earlier. So this down and then arching over. If it takes out the left side low, and so it goes under 360. Uh, you could get a nice pullback to the 357, um, 58 area. But if it closes above the high that was made a few days ago, <clears throat> starts a leg D, that says, okay, you're stuck within this range. That's good action. So I like to have stocks in all different categories and for all different reasons and a, a, a variety. Now, that, that says to me, for my, <coughs> excuse me, for my uh, webinar coming up, I have to look at it as if to say, okay, this is an area that's done extremely well. For instance, 
Um, we're looking at sectors of stocks just coming off the major lows, and they they could be ready for even more upside action, as as laggards playing catch up. But I also want to have the winners, so we're going to have a mix. In the meantime, at the back of the range, which sectors are running that might not have follow through strength? There are some that I think this rally is going to peter out for them, and they're going to have a little bit of a problem. That's my thinking. Um, are there sectors that lag but could now lead, especially the very low price stocks? I mean, we've got a bunch I've spoken about, many of them. Is Shopify, one of those, a whole bunch of stocks that might be in that category. How important are the financial brokerage, cybersecurity, AI, and robotics sectors? We have AI stock. We, we have, uh, you know, we, we, it's done, done quite nicely. Uh, not as spectacular as I would have thought. And that's always the example to say, hey, there's all this hype. What does it do in real life? Well, we were watching those. I want to demonstrate some of the Chapman Wave technical tools. I'm not, because you get, if you if you sign up, you get oh, 9, 10, 11 uh, archives that you can go to on any one of the techniques I talk about. So it's all there for you. Not only that, I, I, I might be wrong, but you might have the last few hours of the Tiger sale going on now. Fantastic sale. So if you're interested in any one of our services, this is a fantastic time to get a discount for it. I mean, in the market, do you ever get a discount? No, you pay what you pay. But wait, what if you were buying it? What if you bought uh, a Microsoft now at 370 for a, a five or six or 10 or 10 or 20 or 30 percent discount? Huh? Okay. So anyway, I wanted to mention that. And then throughout this webinar, what I do is I like to do them so that I do them live, and then they're archived. Because there are people who can't be there at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 4 to 5.30. I, mean, I usually make them 90 minutes long because it's really, it's like a lesson. But at the same time, I love to take the questions. So what you do is you type your little question in or your big question in. Immediately I answer the question. I don't, I'm not one of those that says, I want to finish. And then you can, by the time I, I, I'm finished, even a sentence to go back, I need to do it right away to be refreshed. So that it's a really it's a live thing. It's, it's interactive. I love it. And your suggestions are going to be just as important. I could easily, there's thousands and thousands of stocks. I could easily have forgotten one. For instance, here's a good example. Look, um, XLF. The XLF is the S&P financial sector. So we finally got a money center bank. We bought it um, recently, uh, just after the Fed speak. And... Um, it's done very nicely. We were waiting for a pullback to add to that. Or some people just didn't uh, didn't get in. Well, for whatever reason, they just couldn't get in, but they did want to get in. So where would they get in now that it's up quite nicely, very nicely from our entry point? Well, there are levels that we will look at. So there are some things I want to add to because we waited and waited and waited to get into them. But there are also areas that are, for instance, the S&P Select Financial Spider Fund. What about KRE? That's the regionals. See, I, I, I believe strongly that if you don't have the regionals moving, well, first of all, the financials have to, in any bull market, I, I find it very necessary just for my own comfort to see that the financials are moving. They don't have to make all-time highs, but they need to be moving in sync with the market. You just, you, I need that. But I need to see the, the regionals. This is the, the, this is the USA. Little, uh, this is banks. All the towns and cities, small banks, medium-sized banks, S&P regional banking ETF, I want to see that moving as well. So there are a lot of things that we're going to be looking at, but I want to be very specific. I'm actually doing something a little differently. I'm going to actually say, I might miss it, but if you're interested in this, here's the level that I'd be looking at. Give me a yell when it gets there, because I, I just might miss it. Here's another thing. There is so much money where did I just type that? Uh-oh. There is so much money in CDs. So, I, I, a lot of people are very, very nervous about this market. So, yes, the S&P, well, the X, I think, I, I might be wrong, but I thought I read something about, oh, there it is. U.S. Steel got taken over. And, of course, this is one of my favorites. And then once it started to move up because it was had a takeover offer, I just felt, gee, you know, I don't know. Well, that I don't know. It's thirty-four dollars to forty-nine dollars now, taken over, I think, by a Japanese company. Is that what I read? So that's helped the SLS. 
but there are a lot of stocks in the steel, Vanek Vector Steel ETF, even though it's going to all time highs, to look at as maybe catch up plays. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's now down eight. That's what we're looking for. We'll be right back. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar, Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding the reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So as we wrap up for this, uh, this particular segment, for the last segment, uh, a couple of things I want to look at. So overall, I'm anticipating that there's some kind of a pullback, uh, maybe starting today. Uh, with a week close, and maybe going to choose it. We'll, we'll see. We want, we would like a, a week, week. W e a k, w e e k for my webinar on Wednesday night. Why? Because there are a lot of stocks that are acting quite well now. Quite well doesn't mean to say they're fantastic. So there are ways to enter it. And I've already lowered certain entry points on the stocks that we want right now in the shorter term. Um, the new stocks. Now, a couple of things that I wanted to do, just because uh, this is the last day of the. Uh, Tiger sale, check it out. Go to the front page. Check it out. Any of the you know any of the services. Yeah, it's nice to get a discount with it. But in my in my particular case, 
not only get your discount, but you can get your money back within 29 days. Uh, if you uh, and I'm th I'm saying to subscribers, those who saw my webinar listed and and got in uh, when I listed it, have already done extremely well on certain stocks that we've we've got. So it's I'm 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 not waiting for Wednesday. If I find it tomorrow or the next day before Wednesday night, we're entering it. So this is a, a timing is a very important. So check it out. Very interested in looking at some technical aspects, but must be looking at particular stocks that really have the capacity to continue higher and some to maybe pull back and then have an entry for the January period. Have a wonderful rest of the day and uh, check out my opening call, daily newsletter. Have a great session.